Okay, let's add some tattoos to this character. So, we have our character here, and um, there's a really cool way to add tattoos just by using different UV maps, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, when you add a mesh, um, usually it'll just already have a UV map on it, but um, you might want to use that UV for anything else, like for the texture of the skin, for the mapping of things. In this case, um, we are using that. We're using that for the texture of the of the shirt, and uh, we're using that for for the noise textures to actually create the material here for this guy. So um, we don't want to mess with any of that, and we want to be really careful we don't. So um, in my case, I like to add a new UV map for every tattoo I have. So I'm just going to start working my way down here. So I have a couple different tattoos over here. Um, I'll load up this one. This is one of Post Malone's tattoos. Um, I'm not sure who has this one, and I think this is a little pump tattoo, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to add one of each of these onto our characters, onto this character here, just real quickly. So I'm just going to jump over here into the shader editor, and we already have our, our material loaded up for the sponge. So we're going to just keep going right at this. So basically, you're just changing the color of each of each um, section of the skin where you want the tattoo, but you want to leave the same subsurface value, all that going on. So um, over here, you'll have your UV map of your character. You're just going to go, go ahead and add a new one, and we'll start with this first one, and we'll call it Post Malone Tattoo, or whatever you want. And we can just call it Tattoo 1, just to be safe. Um, and we can go ahead, and with this one selected, if you go back over here and you grab your character, if you tab into edit mode here, we can see your character is all selected here, or we have all of our mesh here. Go ahead and grab everything. And then with this selected, you want to have, make sure your, your UV map is selected, just hit U and project from view. And then if you change one of these, let me open up a little UV editor. You can have everything over here for your character. I'll just grab everything and I'll sort of move it out of the way for now. And then you can load up over here the tattoo you're going to add on. And then you just want to scale everything down and out of the way into just an empty area at first. So you're making sure nothing's affecting that. And here's where it gets real easy. You just over here in your shader editor, you're going to shift A, add in a mix RGB. And then this top value here, this underlying value, you want to just drag the color of the skin in there. And the bottom value, you want it to be black or whatever color the tattoo is, if it's a different color. And then now we can add in a, with shift A, add in an image texture. And then you can load up the tattoo you want to add on. So I'm going to add on this one. And because we have a transparent here, with transparent background with this texture, we can easily just use the alpha to affect the differences. And then we can plug this color right into the base mesh. Now automatically it's going to give you some wonky results. And that's because you have to make sure you're using the UV map that you've made. So here we'll select tattoo one and then we'll just plug the UV right into the vector. And now nothing should happen at first, and that's because you can go in here now, individually, with face select, and then you can pick a nice spot on the face that you want this to be selected. So let's put this tattoo right here. So I'm just gonna select all those faces, and hit U again, and again, make sure we still have the tattoo selected. U, project from view. And now we can scale this section up. And actually, you want to make sure over here you don't have repeat selected, because if you do, what, look what happens when you scale it up. You start getting all these border edges here. You just want to make sure this is just set to clip. So that way, it only gets that little section. Then you can scale this up and sort of drag this around to wherever you want. You can even rotate it however you want. I'm going to leave it sort of upright like that and just put it right there. And perfect, that is one tattoo in there. One thing you want to be sure to do also is anywhere that there is the, the material used twice, um, you want to give it, uh, you want to make sure that it has another UV map set to tattoo, it's tattoo one. So tattoo one, and then just want to go ahead and select everything on that, on that specific mesh, you project from view and just scale it out of the way. Just make sure it's not affected by that tattoo at all. These eyelids are another example. So want to go ahead and give it that same tattoo one enter you 
project from view on all those and just move them out of the way. Just make sure they're not over the tattoo, which basically just says, hey, we're referencing that first part. And there you go, you've added a tattoo onto your character. Let's add another one. Okay, so we have the little Post Malone Playboy tattoo here on this side. Next, we look at our other tattoos. And this is something you wanna be careful of. We're not gonna use this tattoo here because it doesn't contain transparency. There's ways you can get around this, but it's just a little, a little challenging at first, and it's so much easier if you have a tattoo with transparency. That's what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up getting um, weird sections around the edges where, where it's not transparent. And yes, you could use a uh, color ramp to determine where it's white and where it's black. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna skip this uh, texture and we're just gonna only use this guy over here just because this one also contains transparency. All right, let's move on to the second tattoo. So you have this little Playboy bunny already on the, on the second side. So you have this little bunny here on this side of the guy, um, and you have your tattoo mappings on everywhere that there will be that there uses that skin material here. So if you want to add in a second tattoo, well, the first thing we'll need naturally is a second UV map. So go ahead and add that on. So tattoo two, and remember you want to make sure this UV map is on every object that is disconnected that uses that skin. Perfect. So now we can just go ahead and select all of our objects here that use the skin. And then since you have tattoo two on all of them, make sure it is selected. You can tab into edit mode and grab everything. Hit U, project from view again. And we, since we have everything, we can just scale this down and make sure you have your second tattoo again loaded up in this uh, UV image editor. And just like we did the first time, we just want to make sure that all the skin is out of the way of this tattoo. So we are, we're ready to move. We have the tattoo two loaded up and we can just add it in now. So basically we're gonna add another mix RGB. So we're gonna shift D here and we have to think of color one, like everything that goes before this tattoo. So in this first example, everything that was before that first tattoo was just the color yellow, was just the skin color. Um, and that was okay. But for this example, everything before this includes the color yellow. So everything before this is the color yellow, but it also includes that first tattoo. So to take advantage of that, you just drag this whole color right into color one. And now it's saying, okay, we have all of this, including the tattoo, plus whatever color two is gonna be, plus that second tattoo. So we just have to work our way down. So we'll grab this UV map and a tattoo, and we'll just duplicate it. Now you wanna make sure that this tattoo here selected is the one you're working with. So an easy way to do that was you can actually just, if you have the shading tab open, if it's open over here, you can actually just drag it right in and you can drag it right over top and you have your tattoo here. So I'll delete this one out and I'll drag the UV map on top of that. And again, we just wanna be sure we're selecting this repeat and changing it to clip because we don't want anything more than one version of that tattoo. And we are good. And then we can use the alpha layer because these include transparency. Just drag the alpha right into the factor. And we will have, once we connect up this next mix down in here, our tattoo. Now the issue here being our tattoo is still using this first UV map. So you, you wanna make sure um, the first tattoo uses tattoo one, but the second one references tattoo two. And now, if we go over here with tattoo two selected, you can just select the area that you want your second tattoo to be. So I'm just gonna go on this side of the face for this one. We can make this another tattoo right about here. Just another one. Oh, well, let's say, let's, ah, that's a little big. Let's say right there. And I can just either move them down here, or in this case, I'm just gonna hit U, project from U again. So I'm just, so I'm just sure that they're in the right orientation. So I can scale, scale that up there, and I can move it right over top of our tattoo down here in this editor. And then you might realize, eh, I don't love where that's sitting. You can just move this back over here, scale it down, and then you can grab a new section. I like it right under this eye. Yeah. So now you can see they're all disconnected over here. You can just hit U. Oops. 
you can hit U and reproject those from view, and it fixes the geometry down here in the UV editor. And then that's looking better already. And then right there. So you've added the second tattoo on your character's face. These tattoos are just affecting the color, which means they're still using the subsurface scattering, um, which will give it that nice skin look to it. So there you go, you've added the tattoos onto your character just by using UV maps. And the important part to take away from this is it's not actually going to affect anything on your original UV map. You still have that same coordinates that you did before, and these are just laid on top of your character. So thanks for watching. Um, again, let me know in the comments if there's any tutorials you want to see. This is a quick and easy one today and a, just a cool, fun way to add tattoos to your characters. So, so yeah, thanks for watching.